Okay, so you know me, I'm always looking for the easiest solutions to things, I'm always testing things, and I think I found a solution for the Amazon site stripe image fiasco that's going on. You may or may not know, on the 1st of December, Amazon are no longer going to allow you to add images to your website using the site stripe feature, which was the simplest and quickest way to add Amazon images inside your blog post. And on the 31st of December, all your images that you've previously added are no longer going to be available. So I've been looking for a few solutions and I think I've found the simplest and cheapest way to solve this issue once and for all so we can just forget about it and move on. I found a plugin called AM Image Fixer. This is a plugin that once installed will scan your entire website, find all the posts and pages that have images that you've added using the site stripe feature image, and it will automatically replace them with a click of a button. And I mean, it is as simple as that. In fact, I was going to demonstrate it and do a step-by-step -step tutorial on it, but I really don't think it needs one, if I'm being honest. There's a link in the description to this plugin, and once you land on the website, there is a video on there from the owner showing you exactly what it does. Now, I've tested it on one of my websites. I didn't know how many posts I had that had images, and I found 51 posts that had images. And I simply just clicked one button that says fix now, and within about 30 seconds, every single image was swapped out. Now, the only things you need to do if we're going to run through it step by step is number one, purchase the plugin for the number of sites you need. For instance, whether you've got one site, there's a package for three sites, there's a package for 10 sites. Once you purchase that and pay for that, you'll get an email which gives you your license code. Then you simply download the plugin, go to your website, add the plugin, which will then appear in your WordPress dashboard. Then all you need to do is go to Amazon and add your Amazon API key, your secret key, and your store ID. The only other thing you need to do then is choose what size of image you want, whether you want small, medium, or large. Once you've done that, click save, then go back to the plugin dashboard and it will show you after a minute or two, once it's scanned your website, how many posts you have that have images. Then all you do is click fix image now, leave it about less than a minute and you're done. We can then move on and forget about this whole fiasco with Amazon and it will all be sorted. Now, if you're concerned whether it will replace the images inside things like reusable blocks or comparison tables and charts, it does work. I've tested that and you can see there, there's a screenshot from one of my websites where I have a comparison table and you can clearly see these are the new images with the store ID using the Amazon API and it all looks fine and fits the boxes perfect. Now there is also one added bonus inside there that the creator has put into this plugin, which is a facility to add new products using the API. So if you're wondering how in future, when this site stripe image feature is removed, how are you gonna add products and boxes and images inside your website? Well, they've created a free tool inside this plugin that allows you to pull product images from Amazon into your blog post, which look really cool, very simple, and abide by all the terms and conditions. So you may have seen I have previously done videos on products like Lasso, which is another alternative which will automatically swap out all the images. That tool has a lot more features and functionality built into it for future use, for growing your website, adding more products and more boxes but this plugin is certainly the simplest and quickest way if you would just want to swap all these images out once and for all and then figure things out later. It's a quick fix at the press of one button. So I will leave links to both these plugins. I will leave a link to AM Image Fixer, which is this one I'm talking about now in the description. And I will also leave a link to Lasso as well. So you've now got two alternatives. I've not found any other way of doing it other than manually swapping every image out individually. But for me, 51 posts, that's going to take me weeks and weeks to do that. But with this tool, it's the click of a button. It's done. I can forget about it. And for one site costing $47 just to get rid of this headache, it's certainly worth doing. So I hope you found that helpful. All the links are in the description. There will be affiliate links down there. So if you do make a purchase using my link, I will make a commission. I really appreciate it and it helps the channel out. So thanks very much and I'll see you in the next video.